When you bring a lawsuit against your careless doctor, and now the defense lawyer has an opportunity to ask you questions during a process known as a deposition, can he turn around and ask you, hey, Mr. Jones, why did you sue my client? Is that a fair and appropriate question? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. All right, so here's the scenario. You sued your doctor because you claim he was careless and that his carelessness was a cause of your injury. And now you suffered significant harm and injury. You went to an attorney who had your case evaluated and determined that yes, a medical expert confirmed that the doctor was careless, that his carelessness caused you harm and injury, and that your injuries are in fact significant and permanent. And now, what happens then? Well, during the course of your lawsuit, the defense lawyer, the attorney who represents the doctor whom you have sued, will have an opportunity to question you. And that's known as a deposition. It's really pretrial question and answer session that takes place in our office. And now, there's no judge there, there's no jury there. So what happens? What happens is that we are there with you and you are there to answer specific questions that the defense lawyer will ask you. And all of the answers that you give represent your pretrial sworn testimony because all of those answers and those questions will get put into a booklet because they are recorded by a court stenographer. Okay, so what happens then? Well, sometimes you get a defense attorney who turns around and says, you know what? Hey, Mr. Jones, I want you to tell me in your own words why you went ahead and sued my client, the doctor. Is that an appropriate question? And the response is, no, it is not an appropriate question. Why not? Because we, as your attorneys, are the ones who filed paperwork on your behalf, explaining in detail what the claim was. In addition, we had to provide the defense with very specific allegations, known as a bill of particulars. And those documents were submitted to the defense lawyer, laying out in exquisite detail exactly what the claims are in this particular case. The fact that the defense lawyer now wants to ask you, hey, Mr. Jones, in your own words, tell us why you sued my client. That is really inappropriate. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to get you to verbalize what you think was done wrong. And sometimes by doing that, now it gets you emotional, it gets you upset, it gets you angry. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to push your buttons. He's not going to do it just for the sake of, hey, recording this information. He has an ulterior motive. And it's not to trap you or to trick you, but to get you to go ahead and express yourself, to express your outrage, to express how upset you are about what the doctor did and how careless he was. I'm staring at a bunny rabbit right now. Let's see if I can turn around and you'll see it right in the path. There he is. There's a bunny rabbit. Okay, how funny is that? There are lots of bunnies out at this time. They come out around uh, dusk and it's remarkable to see. All right, so let's get back to the question. How can they go ahead and use that? They use that by your tone of voice. And when I mean tone of voice, it means it's going to come out, number one, that he's pushing your buttons. Number two, you're going to hear in the reading of that information, of that answer, that you are angry and upset. So the jury won't actually be able to hear what you say, but by the tone and manner of how you said it, that's going to come back. And I guarantee you, the defense attorney will use that if your case goes to trial. And now he's going to try and get your buttons pushed all over again by forcing you to admit and accept that you resented the doctor for doing this, that you believe the doctor was totally at fault, that you, although you had no proof, you believe that he caused you all this harm and injury. And now the jury will get to see another side of you that they otherwise might not have seen. And is it fair? The answer is no, it's not fair. And your attorney should pipe up and yell out, objection. That's an inappropriate question, counselor. We've already provided you explicit details about the allegations in this case, and you know exactly what the claims are and why we've made them. Move on, ask the next question. So why do I share this great information with you as I stroll along the beach? I do that because I want you to hear the calming waves. I want you to just relax a little bit as I go on this walk with you and explain to you exactly what happens in these medical malpractice cases here in New York. You know, I do realize you're watching this video because you likely have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but have not done so yet and have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 
or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.